Hello again. Today we're going to have a look at the DJI Mini 2. Now this is the Fly More Combo Pack. I always advise to buy that pack because it comes with two extra batteries, extra propellers and a nice carry case. I believe anyway. I'll just give you a, a quick show around the box. Not too, not too fussed about that because I'm going to open up and show you anyway. Okay, I wish they had a little pull tab like Apple have. Never mind, it's not too bad. Okay, so let's get this wrapping off and have a look and see what we've got. I was lucky to get this today, thanks to my friends in Ho Chi Minh City for sending this over to me. Okay, let's have a look. Right, so yeah, we got a, a bag this time. I quite liked the hard carry case last time with the Mavic Mini 1, but this time it's come in a, a nylon bag instead. Equally as nice. Nice quality things from DJI. Okay, so it's got a little bit of uh, Chinese writing on the book that there. And we've got a double zipper. That's good. Alright, got a nice long strap. And it's got a, a carry handle on one side as well. Okay, it's nice. It should fit nicely in the camera bag that I've just bought. And it's matching colour as well. Right, I'm going to have a look in this zipper pocket first for the accessories. Right, we've got some propellers here. Right, so we've got two packets of propellers, A and B. Just show you those. A and B. So there's two sets there. And we've got a little, what's this, a little screwdriver to put the propellers on. Propellers have got screws in the packet as well. Right, what else have we got? Oh, a third set. Okay. So there's three sets of propellers. And we've got an extra pair of sticks, the joysticks for controlling it. And that's it for the pocket. Right, so I'll take the rest of the things out of the bag and then we'll go through what's in each of those. Right, I think that's about it. Silica gel, don't eat that. Right, that's it for the bag. In the back here, it looks like we've got an iPad mini pouch. So if you've got a small tablet, it will fit in there nicely. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and let's have a look at this one. Accessories box. Right, so in here should be the charging cables and things, looks like it. Right, so we've got a charging plug. That's always useful for charging the, the batteries when you're at home. And you can use a cable with the, the car charging plug in the car as well. Right, so you've got Type-C to Type-C and then a Type-C to micro USB. And there are two cables for connecting the phones to the controller. Here we've got a, a type A to type C. If it focuses, there we go. And that's for charging the unit and the controller itself. In here we have the batteries, like last year, only a different color. We've got two batteries. Hopefully there's a third one in the, the drone itself. Right, there's no charge in the batteries. On the side there we've got a USB-A out, so you can use that for charging your controller or phone if you need to. And then a Type-C in for charging the batteries themselves. Okay, I'm just going to get the other... I'll get the Mavic one in a minute and show you the differences. Right in here we've got some booklets. Not as many as usual. Quick start guide. A little help paperwork. And two-way charging hub and then a little bit in Chinese as well and a disclaimer and the legal information okay so in this one will be the controller I'm excited to use this controller because I really really hated the controller that we had last day, last year I hated the fact that the phone was at the bottom this came with a bit of charge that's good that means that I won't have to charge this up as often as the batteries Right, so you pull this out, 
and it's got a little spring in there. Doesn't look like it's enough for a, an iPad Mini. Maybe without the case. Right, you've got the lightning connector already connected in there. And that wraps around and has its own little slot and tucks away nicely. Right, that's excellent. Right, on the top we've got the camera and video button and the controller for the camera to move the the camera itself. Sticks are on the bottom, so this packet here are spare sticks in case you lose one. It's got a vent on the back here to allow the hot air to come out. Type C charging and then you've got the buttons on the front, your return to home and pause for the video, normal cine and sport and power button. Nice and tactile. Okay, Power button's the same, so you press it once and then press it the second time and hold it to, char uh, to fire it up. That's about it for the... You've got a couple of little buttons there. And that's it. It's nice and grippy, nice and... Nice grips on the back, nice feeling. And there's a nice place there, nice and rubberized to hold the phone. And it looks like you'll be able to put the phone in with a, a case still on. That would be excellent instead of having to take the case off each time to put the phone in. That was most annoying. Nice and balanced. It feels really good. Let me just uh, try that with the case on. Okay. iPhone 12 Pro, no problem. You can leave the case on and it goes in there easily. And the amount that lifts up, you should be able to get the the Pro Max as well if you want to. Right, let's have a look at the Mavic Mini 2. Right, it's got a lot of stickers on here. Yeah, there's a battery in there, that's good. Right, it's, uh, with the Fly More Combo you get this little propeller guard. Very similar to what they were selling last year. And I'm going to take some of these stickers off. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit so I can take the stickers out of the way. And we can look at it more closely. They're very sticky. Right, let's just, uh, I'll just show you the camera. There we go. 4K video this time. Again, very excited to see what it comes out like. Right, I'm going to take the stickers off. I've speeded it up because there's a lot of little stickers on here. Right, okay, let's take the battery out. Right, so I'll put it in there. Again, it's not coming up with any charge, so I'll have to charge those first. Type-C charging on the, the Mavic Mini 2 instead of micro USB last time. On the bottom looks pretty much the same I think it looks pretty much the same the propellers have got orange tips on instead of white like last time um, Mavic Mini 2 there's a little light on the front there and uh, another couple of stickers okay right the light at the back here is it's like a button it pushes I'm not sure why it pushes it's got a little clicky pushy I'll sort that out later anyway. And we do have a light on the front, which makes it, it looks like a little smiley face even more now with the two eyes and now a little smiley light mouth. Uh, this shows you how you can put, put, put the propellers in the top and the bottom. Again, it's a, a design that came out last year. I remember seeing them for the Mavic Mini. Right, let's have a look at this battery charger. The battery's very much the same size but slightly different shape. Mavic Mini 2 is more squared off. Mavic Mini 2 battery is a lot lighter as well. Let's see if that will charge in there. There, okay. I thought the pins looked the same. So the battery itself is a tiny bit smaller but the pins are the same so Let's find another battery and see if I've got one which has got a bit more charge in it. Right, let's see if it will work in the Mavic Mini 2. It fits in. Door closes. There. 
Okay, I thought the pins looked the same. Right, so I'm not going to do much with this. You see the light on the f back and the light on the front. It's nice to have a light on the front now. I hope, hopefully it changes colour. I'm not sure if it will or not. We'll see. Right, I'm going to turn it back off just in case, but I will test it more thoroughly later on. And uh, I'll let you know at the end of the video if it does work and flies okay with the, the Mavic 1 battery. Now, I don't think it will fit because it did look slightly bigger. Yeah, it is bigger. So it won't fit the opposite way around. So the Mavic 1 batteries will fit in the Mavic 2, but the Mavic 2 batteries won't fit the Mavic 1. Other than that, they're pretty much the same. You've got the light on the front there. 4K camera, of course. And then you've got the little switch. I still don't know what that's for. This one doesn't move and doesn't press in at all. So you've got Type-C charging instead of micro USB. Card slots in the same place. I would have preferred they put it inside the door, really, to make it a bit safer. And to make it a bit more weather sealed. But it seems pretty good so far. I'm going to leave you a video at the end with a little bit of footage from when I take it out. And I'll give you the battery information in just a second. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoy the video.